And the first of the Talipe brothers makes his way to the ring. And uh, he's got a tough task ahead of him tonight, does Mafa Talipe. His first fight in nine years. And uh, with three out of his uh, record is two and four. The three out of those four are by KO. Is this going to suggest that this one isn't not going to go very long? Because he's in against the big, bad Ray Damashki, who's three and oh with three KOs. Razor Ray, yep, that's the one, CB. Last fought on um, the combined show of Jake Ellis and Brian Armatruda and had an impressive knockout victory not long ago. Boasts a record of 3-0. and And like you said, Stevie, looking to um, make it 4-0. And we're just doing a bit of a substitute here. We've got Matty James out and we've got Sammy Brizzy in. Another victory in the corner for you tonight there, Sammy, with uh, Joy Alexander, Mornington, Peninsula Boxing Club are flying at the moment. Yeah, Fuego and, uh, and Bubba run to the tutelage of Marcus Amato down there. You know, good crew, good trainer, good gym. Um, I was just a two-bit player, mate. I was, I was honoured to be a part of the, the fun and frivolity. So. But uh, Fuego's got a big future after having a long layoff. You know, he's just getting back into it. And he'll be better off for, for another four, four rounds. Yeah, big Ray Damashki making his way to the ring here. Three and all, three KOs against, against Mafa Talipe. Or two of four knows he wants to be known as now. Who are we to argue? That's right. Whatever they want, they get. But uh, as I was saying there on the way out, Sam, he's had four losses. Two of four now, and he's uh, three of those and four KOs. I have a feeling that this could be over before it starts. Yeah, it's not the, uh, the most flattering record. He's probably not the most accomplished fighter, but he's here. He's boxing, he's here, and anything can technically happen. Uh, I didn't believe McGregor would sign the fight Mayweather, and that's happening. Don't talk to me about that, man. <laughs> I wash my hands of it. Round nine, we're sitting up to the big boys of professional boxing, the heavyweights. We do welcome in the blue corner coach tonight, Mr. Sergio Prado from Central America. This boxer is for Sydney, Brisbane, Pachuca and Dandenong. Formerly known as Mafa Talipe from Samoa, now known as Lazal Tuafano. He took the scales at a massive 95.85 kilograms. We do welcome Lazio Tuafano wearing black trunks. And across the ring in the red corner, he's on a roll. Three fights, three big knockouts. He's one of the beasts from Team Bowman at 95.35. He's got the skirt, black and white, coming with magpie colours. They call him Razor Ray Gelomarski. He's Tony Ritter. That's a big man for a big job with the heavyweights. He's Tony. He's 95 kilos of destruction. He's the big favorite here, Ray Damachki. Yeah, and, and this is the uh, third or fourth time we've seen Ray in action, so. Yeah, he's becoming a regular fixture here now on the Jake Ellis shows. He's, uh, we try and get, wait for Howard to get over the ring. The legend that is Hollywood Howard Lee. Michael Conlon. Obviously, that comes along with Dumatsky and, and all the boys down at Beast Gym. Um, it makes sense to put these guys on, you know, they bring a crowd, they give it their all, and they promise action every time they step into the ring. Yeah, he's certainly going to be an interesting addition to the heavyweight scene here, is um, Ray Dumatsky. 
um, 95 kilos, but um, it's it's 95 kilos of absolute power. I mean, those legs, you can build a foundation on those legs. Yeah, that's He's right. solid. He's, uh, yeah, just big frame, big build, you know. Um, <coughs> the typical heavyweight. Telepi, let's go with a couple of wild erratic shots there. And that's a bit smart there from uh, Tuofono, wrapping up Tomaski. Yeah, Tuofono looks a little bit edgy, looks a little bit uh, nervous, understandable, with an 0-3 record against uh, crowd favourite Ray Tomaski. Neither guy really committing or stepping right through their shots at the moment. Change jumping left hooks with both, which both miss. Right idea there from Dimashki with the uppercut. Just caught to a final on the armpit. Yeah, he doesn't want to be reaching too much with that chin in the air. To Zam, to a final. Oh, there's a good left hook there. Oh, that's what will happen. Yeah, that's right. That's right. One of those shots was it was going to find a home eventually, Stevie. I'll in time we're at it. We'll keep a close look on this one. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Tuafano just looks a little bit flustered. I don't know how many of the bunnies are still working inside the head there, but um. Nah, uh, the mouth guards come out and he's rugby tackled Dabachki back to the ropes. Hands on hips. He already looks a little bit bewildered. As Serge Prada gets up to give the mouth guard a spray. Of course, Tuofano's brother is uh, also in action here tonight. Even bigger again. He's in action again, of course, against uh, David Cannon, who's uh, one of our colleagues here on livecombatsports.com.au. Yeah, one of our colourful colleagues at all round nice guys. David Cannon as the match view opens up in the opposite corner. Wild right hand there again from Tuofano. And Damaski starting to unload here above us at ringside. Just, just a bit uh, he was just a bit wild there, Damaski. You'd almost feel if he just kept it a small bit of composure there. Yeah, just picky shots. Yeah, he could have he could have just uh dropped Tuofano again. A small bit erratic. From the man from Beast Gym. Yeah, just a little bit excited, but he finished that round better. I, I reckon Tuafano probably started the better of the two, and then Dimachki come on there. And there's a conversation in the corner here of Tuafano. He looks a little bit confused. I'm not sure this is going to continue. I mean, that's exactly what Sergio Prada is asking, see if he wants to go, and they're going to wave this one off. No, yeah, that's, have. It. that's it. The mouth guards come out, and Tony Moretta has waved it off. And, uh, you know, this one was just heating up. Um, it's, unfortunately and for Dimashki, it's poor, a bit of Look, my heart goes out to uh, Ray Dimashki sometimes. Definitely. We had a night here where his opponent didn't even show up. Um, Big Ivan Collar retired in the corner after the first Ivan round. Ivan Collar retired in the corner after the first round. He's, he's had a very frustrating start. But you know, as I was saying with the likes of Ami um, Man Carlos, and just trying to step these boys up a small bit, you know? Yeah, definitely. They've all had three or four amateur uh, professional fights. That's now, it now. Let's and they'd want to step up as well. They're all quite they boys. Do. They're, they're all tough kids. They're combats. They're, you know, they're fighters. Fighters want to fight. Yeah, they put a lot in, and uh, you can see the disappointment there in the beast gym. You know, mutual respect, but disappointment. Um, yeah. And to a fun, I look, took a couple of good shots, but. Red, look, Red, Red Maschke is, is he's a warrior, you know, and, and that's what warriors want to do. You know, they want to compete. And look, it's frustrating, but, you know, job done. He'll march on. That's right, you can only face what's in front of you and, um, you know, Ray Dimashki will get his opportunity. Um, hopefully someone will just 
be willing to stand in front of him for a few rounds. He, um, Razor Ray goes to four and zero, and um, you know, even though he's unbeaten, he'd probably still be a little bit uh, disappointed with what's happened so far in proceedings. Special shout out. We're all going to go to a big party tonight. 